I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had I found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all so we're gonna do spotlight comments you know i try to do that so one person said i like how you get straight to the point um what's up y'all this is 1020 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video so for real I like to get straight to the point too. I really hate niggas who, who, you know, who don't know how to just keep it 100. It's annoying to me to have that trait. And I, I know it's not like a, a bitch ass trait. I don't want to be mean about it. <laughs> but to me, it kind of is, you know, in Jamaican cultures, we really just say whatever we got to say. If you don't like it, we're not saying it to hurt your feelings. But we do want to tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes the truth hurts and sometimes the truth feels amazing. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, so I really appreciate that. And I like to get straight to the point. Like I like a good reading, but I don't want to have no reading and you just talking to me about a whole bunch of shit. I got other shit I need to do, man. Tell me what the fuck the message is. You feel me? All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on. Let's see what crack it like. All right. All right, we're going to start this one off with the divine confessions. All right, so this could come from anybody. All right, so somebody want to tell something to you, but we don't know who it is. But let's see what they want to say. It says, I was reckless with your feelings, and now I'm feeling guilty than a motherfucker. All right, so you could have gave this motherfucker bread and water. Okay, you be like, oh, bitch, you ain't got to be eating like the Romans did. Nigga, I can eat some steak and potatoes. All right, so you could have been eating good, feeling good with this person, doing all that shit, and they were reckless with it. They thought they was going to be eating steak and potatoes forever. Now this nigga over here eating ramen noodles. <laughs> okay. okay, shout out to ramen noodles. All right, so somebody else, somebody else wants to say um, uh, something to you. This is somebody from the past, Scorpio. So this is definitely somebody you had sex with, okay, and they purposely nutted in you. Okay, I don't know what the fuck this person gonna say, but we gonna break it down. But this is the second category. All right, so the second category, you guys, this person, you told them like, I don't want no kid. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to do nothing like that. This person knows you don't want no kid. This person could also be not even responsible enough to take care of no kid to even do something like this. All right, so, all right, so whoever this is, this person did reconcile with you and then they tried to come on you, okay? You were like, hell no. Nah. You probably went and got the day after pill or you just was like, what the fuck, okay? Like, some people, I just don't know. And this person wasn't even responsible. It always be the, the irresponsible one trying to go in there with no hat on. I'm pissed that you cut me off energetically, okay? So, the third person, Scorpio, they mad because you got boundaries and self-worth, <laughs> all right? So whoever's in this last pile, they mad that you got boundaries, you got self-worth, they're like, damn, I don't wanna deal with you. Whoever this this last person is, they don't, damn, sorry for the turbulence. Yeah, whoever this last person is, they don't wanna deal with you because it requires them to have a better behavior, you know? But they soul is calling for it. <laughs> all right, let's break it down, break it deep, break it down. Let's see what's going on with it, all right? How y'all doing, Scorpios? I hope everybody is looking good, feeling good, and smelling good, all right? My setup is different because my stand broke. I don't know what's going on with my stand, but it ain't working. So now we on this bootleg stand. Y'all like the view and stuff. Y'all be looking at all this shit in the background. What's going on over there? But I be doing that too. I don't do it, but you know, I was talking to my best friend. And he was like, people do do that, Ashley. I'm like, okay. So ever since he said it, now nah, I've been doing it. I'm like, okay, let me, let me see what the fuck going on back there. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on. All right, y'all got somebody in here that just coming in people for no reason. It's like you can, they, the person can't even pay for it. Don't you hate when people do that? Be eating, can't pay a bill, but they be eating because you there. Uh-uh. Hate people like that. I'm like, uh, -uh I got to go. I go right up to there and pay my shit. Like, girl, I'm in the car. Have me a little, you know, herb time. Just come out when you pay your bill. What? You paid already? Mm-hmm. I paid at the bathroom. Oh, all these upside down. 
But only this one up. Okay. All right, Scorpios. All right, so we talking about somebody that's privileged. Okay, this is the first card out. In the other way, we 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 like to do it whatever fuck we way want to. This this way we want to today. All right. So you privileged, you look good, you smell good, your mama and your daddy took care of you, you know what I'm saying? You know, you could have had an uncle or an auntie that took care of you, but you well taken care of, you know what I'm saying? Two, 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 you hella balanced, all right? You look good, you smell good, you well put together. You always got a watch on. It's always important to wear a watch, okay? It's hella important. It's like, it's like one of those laws, and it's always really important to have a watch that is ticking. You don't want to have a watch on and that shit don't work. You know, make sure that motherfucker got a battery in it. That's another little hack that y'all need to know, all right? So you hella privileged. A lot of people feel like you come from wealth, but you could just be a fucking hustler. You know, you just take care of yourself. People be mad because you be looking well put together. Why you got to be out here looking like a bum? I hate people like that. Oh, you be on any social media looking good. Why, why, why you want me to be on here looking like a bum so bad? I hate that. Who, who over here taking, you see bums with, with selfies, they can get a, they can get a phone, y'all. They, they can get an Obama phone. I know Obama ain't our president no more, but they can get a government phone and I bet you they won't be like, bum on the hill, bum underneath the ground, <laughs> underneath the, underneath the goddamn, <laughs> the bridge, okay? They won't be posting, bruh. Okay, post your wins and don't let nobody make you feel bad about it. So we talking about your ass, all right? So we gonna put your ass over here. We we we'll put can you stay over there okay you in that bowl all right so let's see all right so the first person this person was reckless with your feelings and they feel guilty scorpio so whoever this is they thought you was a dime a dozen okay ain't that a damn shame all right so you know you unconcerned about this person now you could care less about what this person trying to talk to you about okay because this person was not trying to be supportive of you or help you or just be concerned with your feelings at all this person didn't give a fuck so you unconcerned too yeah you let go of this situation too if someone leaves you confused more than comfort you need to release their ass I, I like that shit i need mean, that is a good ass card if somebody keeps you confused 95 fucking percent of the time drop this hoe she not a hoe drop this young lady okay drop this man drop this confusion okay yeah, this person receiving karma. Because this was a toxic situation, Scorpio, for you. All right? So you had to let this person go. Ooh, this person love you. Damn. So this person that was reckless with your energy, they actually fucking love you, Scorpio. They feeling real guilty about how they treated you and shit. All right, this is not somebody who want to write a letter, but this is somebody who will write a letter to you. All right, this is not somebody who will declare their love, but this is somebody who want to declare their love for you. Damn. That's fucked up. All right, let's see what's going on with the next story. This could be all your stuff. Damn, don't be sharing all stuff early. Let me put that over here. Okay. All right, let's go to the next story. All right, so this person... Oh, yeah. All right, so whoever this is, Scorpio, this person reconciled with you so they can trap you with a baby. This is a low vibration last nigga. You got to be careful with bitches like these, all right? This person mad as hell because you healthy, happy, and thriving, all right? So somebody is really mad that you happy, healthy, thriving, having a good time, all right? Actions speak louder than words. You know this nigga is talking some fuck shit. You know this female be talking some bullshit, and you ain't got time for the bullshit or the fuck shit, so you keep it moving, all right? This person love the way you fuck, mm-hmm. They love the chemistry y'all had. They feel like it was a lot of passion okay and this person felt like they could be vulnerable if this was a man this man felt like he could cry with you this girl felt like she could be she didn't have to be hard you know you was her safe place okay and it was because you came from like maybe a family that had two people in the household or just two people that love you i hate people be like oh you you come for your mama and your daddy no that's not true bitch okay all you really need is somebody who love your ass that's really it all right you building a really found legacy this 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 group Y'all can smoke a lot of weed, all right? But y'all can use vape pens to smoke weed, all right? Y'all are doing something. This group of Scorpio, y'all doing something that's legacy-wise, all right? Some of y'all can have a nose ring in your nose or this person has a nose ring, all right? And, um, you know, they could have critiqued the fact that you smoked a lot of weed. They could have not smoked weed or you could have not smoked weed. But somebody feels like you're building something that's big, a legacy, something that's going to last a long time. And they starting to see that now. They starting to see that you, you, you a legacy shaper. You know what I'm saying? You, you're not like a little a little peon all right they thought you was a peon nigga all right it says i'm pissed that you cut me off energetically so this is somebody who's like oh you ain't fucking with me yeah all right all right because you you know i'm a walking ticket all right so scorpio somebody know you a walking ticket but they mad okay um 
they really are mad and they're pissed energetically, all right, that you just have self-esteem. You could have blonde hair, you could have green eyes, you could have banging ass cute pink lips, okay? And they hate that shit, all right? They also want to express their love to you, but you could be real laid back about every fucking thing. Like, I'm just chilling. I don't give a fuck. Somebody is thinking about you a lot, Scorpio. They really are. You're just in this person's thoughts. And they want to smoke weed with you. So whoever this is, they want to connect to you over some cannabis or some alcohol or something like that. They miss those times, okay, with connect here. They're not connecting with you no more, you know. And they feel like it was a spiritual connection. Because, you know, it could be like y'all had deep intellectual conversations. For some of y'all, there's no weed involved. It was just brain stimulating, conversing with each other. Deep conversations. This person thinking about you when you're not around. You always expressed your love. You told them it was important to let them know that you love them. And you have nothing to lose by telling them that. And they like that shit. They like, damn, you just gonna tell me you love me like that, like it ain't nothing. But it's because this person is love, okay? You know how to love. Well, you know how to love you. It's easy for you to express love. Weak people think expressing love is a weak thing because they're weak. You know what I mean? They can't express shit. Everything is about to be, I'm about to kill myself. You know what I'm saying? All right, so this person mad that you was easily to express that you love them. And then you love them from, from a distance. And that shit threw them off, Scorpio. They're like, how the fuck you gonna love me? But you not over here, you know? But we can do that. We can love you from 50 feet away. We can love you and you 10 feet in. I love him. Not enough for me to, you know, be around his ass when he alive, but I love him though. You know what I'm saying? Scorpio, this is a crazy ass reading, all right? Scorpio, somebody see that you work hard as hell or you been working hard as hell, Scorpio, and that's what's up. Ain't nobody mad at that, okay? <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all so crazy. All right, Scorpio, it says, I spread a vicious gossip about you. Now I'm exposed. Damn. So somebody is thinking about how they spread some shit about you, Scorpio, and that shit was fucked up. Most of it was lies and shit. And now they being exposed publicly for this shit. They thinking about it. They like, damn, you know, somebody could be thinking about if they come clean, everybody going to know they a shiesty ass, lying ass, punk ass bitch. Damn. Mm -mm -mm. It's really on this person's mind, okay? Because you got a lot of leadership qualities, okay? And this person don't. So it's like, mm, is anybody going to really believe? me okay and you got banging ass money management um um skills okay you you're really good at managing your money all right but you are a rebel this has been coming out all week you like to do shit the way you want to do it you don't give a fuck how other people do it you know you'll take advice and you'll listen to what the fuck they got to say but if it's not applicable to what you got going on you're gonna let this shit ride okay and it's something that you do that's unbelievable like how can you just make all this money or do all this shit off of what you do baby because you you all right and don't get caught up in what i'm doing you need to focus on you all right i love y'all bye